guys, this is Dan from Primal RC. Today I'm going to be installing the new brushless system for the Raminator truck. Uh, it's designed by Chris Fine from Fine Design. Includes a 500 kV motor. It's got a big 10 millimeter shaft. It uses the original clutch system and a special CNC clutch mount, uh, motor mount. It also has a whole water cooling system, a little tank to hold the water, pump to circulate the water. It also has a water-cooled ESC, 130 amp hobby wing. It's good for up to five to 12 S. Uh, even six S on this truck will, will move it way faster than the original gas motor. And eight S is really fun, but 10 or 12 is just ridiculous. There's also a whole radiator system. So you got your fan, the water's gonna go through there, get cooled off by the fan, get circulated back through the ESC, through the motor. It also has a, its own battery that you just plug in when you want that fan to run. So you don't have to tap it into anything else. Um, your original electronics are going to use your stock battery, or you, you could switch that to like a 2S LiPo. So all your electronics are going to run off your normal system, your servos and your receiver. The batteries for the motor are going to come, you're going to put them on this plate. They're only going to be used to do the motor, nothing else. And all together, the system works really well, but I'm going to install it and show you how it goes in. All right, first thing you're going to want to do is remove the stock engine from the original truck, get it all ready for the new system. So basically take that whole motor out. You're going to want to put this piece that's attached to the bottom of the motor. When you remove the motor, this it's easiest to take this out with the motor and just make sure you put that back in. And it just installs the same way, you know, just without the motor on it. And obviously you're going to take the uh, gas tank out of it. We're going to put the plate for the batteries right there. Okay, I just installed the um, battery mounting plate. It, the kit comes with four um, screws, a little eight millimeter hex head on them. They just screw into the cross member underneath like that. Those washers I took from the gas tank. Uh, there's four washers that are on the bolts for the gas tank. So I just reused those washers. Screw them in from the bottom, tighten them up, and your battery tray is good to go. Then you're going to mount your water pump to this uh, cross brace. In the kit, there's an included uh, screw, 2.5 millimeter hex. It just screws in using the other hole on this side on the bottom. It's a little hard to get at if, you, if this piece is already installed, but if you have a tool like a ball head, a uh, 2.5 millimeter hex driver, you could, you could fit it in there. You don't have to remove this. And just tighten that one screw up, and it's on there nice and tight. All right, then you're going to do the same thing with your ESC. The ESC already comes uh, mounted to a plate. Uh, it has two holes, but you're only going to utilize one of them to mount it. It's the same, it's the opposite hole that you just mounted the pump onto. Again, there's already a screw in the kit. Just screw it right in, tighten it up. It's already threaded and everything, and it holds it on there real nice. Let's see how it goes on like that. All right, then you're going to mount your water storage tank utilizing a bolt that's already in the frame. Just take that nut off, that bolt, and this already comes mounted on a bracket. Uh, do not remove these screws. It's a whole, he made sure it was all nice and water sealed and pressure tested and mounted this plate already to it. So don't, you don't want to remove this. Um, all you're going to do is remove that one bolt from the frame, put this on and tighten that bolt back up on there real nice put it at like about a one o'clock position okay i just mounted the uh, radiator with the cooling fan and the battery tray and all that all comes pre-assembled all you got to do is use the two mounting holes that are already there on that brace and the two included screws it just screws right down uh, to make clearance for that i removed the factory uh, little kill switch normally mounted on the side um, it gets kind of in the way, you know, of this radiator. And you don't need this switch anymore if you're running electrics, but you could, so you could just take that off, put it to the side in case you ever want to make a gas again. Um, also, just to clean up the kit a little bit too, I removed the uh, original throttle servo. Uh, you don't need that one anymore also, so you could just remove that whole servo from the mount, you know, clean it up a little bit. Also, you're not going to need this kill switch too, the Triton kill switch. If you want, you can remove it. If not, you could just leave it intact and leave the wiring and all that. All right, then I just uh, used the two 12 inch leads uh, that's included with the kit to plug uh, 
the pump wires into. So you're just gonna put those two 12 inch leads together, route the wire, you could zip tie this later on when it's all done to make it nice. Open up your receiver box, find the port channel five, just plug it in. The ESC is gonna be using the same harness that comes stock on the truck that the throttle servo plugged into. So when you took this throttle servo off, and unplug the servo, just plug the ESC lead into that harness right there. All right, now I mounted the motor. Uh, it's real simple. It's the same four bolts that you used to pull out the original engine. You're just gonna reuse those four bolts, thread them into the plate, fish, you know, fish the motor in there, thread it on real easy, tighten them up real nice. Uh, then there's a hose diagram in the instructions. You just look at that picture and you could see where each hose goes. Very simple. All the hoses are installed as much as possible. He just lets you, uh, you know, finish by putting them in place. The three wires for the brushless motor, just plug into the three blue wires. And now I'm gonna show you how to fill the system with water. All right, so now I'm gonna try to uh, fill up the water pump. So I disconnected this hose from the ESC. It normally goes into here and I got it running down into a clean uh, bottle of fresh water. There's an additional hose on the kit. I just plugged into the ESC to let it, um, instead of you know coming out there, it's gonna go back into the water. So let's see what happens. When I turn on the motor and the electrical system for the car, that wire we hooked up for the, to the ESC will automatically run that pump the second we turn this on. You don't even have to turn the radio on. And it should suck the water through here and then fill the system. All right, I've got the hoses in there. I'm gonna turn it on. I'm gonna switch back here and see what happens. Okay, looks like it's sucking the water in. Might be it. Oh yeah, look at that, it's already coming out. It's going in and out, so the system should be nice and filled up. No more air bubbles coming out of it. And now we can shut it off and just hook the hose back up. Hook this hose back up to the ESC. All right, so this is how it looks like when it's all installed. Putting in this was actually a breeze. You know, everything just mounts on real easy. Chris Fine from Fine Design made it made it really easy. Assembled as much as possible first for you. He preset the ESC is all preset to have no break. You know, no reverse because you still use the reverse function that the that the Primal Monster truck has to go in reverse. So from the transmitter, you hit channel four. This little toggle switch is right here you pull that all the way down that's to let it go in reverse so and you also your brake so this is still forward yes like make it go forward then braking is this way and that's still going to use the mechanical brakes of the truck it's not going to use the motor to brake the truck like a lot of uh, electric cars you use the motor to, to stop the vehicle this the motor is just going to stop and you're going to use your mechanical brakes to stop the vehicle so there's no loads on this motor except for just normal acceleration and because of the clutch design, it's a very smooth engagement and very easy on the motor. So this motor really should last forever, pretty much on this truck, especially with the water cooling system. But that's all hooked up. It's all working. I'll show you a little bit of uh, acceleration just uh, on the table here. Okay, so I just turned it on. I connected the batteries together, turned the control on, turned this switch in the back on. That's going to put your oil your servos going and everything. That's also this battery back here. It also powers the little pump for the water. That's what you're hearing right now. And I just plugged in the fan for the cooling. That's a nice quiet motor. The water pump does seem to make some noise you can hear. Um, now if I give it a little gas, you'll hear the motor spool up. If you can hear that. It's just spooling up a tiny bit. And then as it engages, I start to grab the wheels, clutch is engaging. That's it. Just touching the gas a little bit here. I give it a lot, these wheels are probably something good. That's how it stops. Mechanical brake. That's it. I'll have a running video of it soon.